एंड वेलकम गाइस सो इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव डन दिस मॉडल बिल्डिंग फेज सो नाउ वी आर इंटरेस्टेड इन परफॉर्मिंग कंपाइलेशन एंड ट्रेनिंग सो लेट्स क्रिएट हियर टेक्स्ट एंट्री लेट्स राइट हियर कंपाइलिंग ट्रेनिंग फेज सो इफ यू गाइस आर न्यू टू दिस वीडियो देन प्लीज वॉच दिस प्ले लिस्ट फ्रॉम बिगनिंग वी हैव डन इम्पोर्टिंग डेटा सेट इम्पोर्टिंग लाइब्रेरीज एंड डेटा प्री प्रोसेसिंग वी हैव डन these all are the step i have already explained in my last videos how we are dealing with these things why we are choosing these parameters i have explained in detail there then we have executed this building model phase and now we are going to perform this compiling and training phase okay so for compilation use as we already define our model and we are working on this cnn model okay so use here cnn.compile and in cnn dot compile we have to pass a optimizer we have to pass first argument as optimizer so i am going to use optimizer as here you can use adam or any other optimizer i am going to use here rms prop optimizer it's giving a good result on this rms prop optimizer that's why i am choosing here rms prop optimizer if your input classes has only two values then you can choose here binary cross entropy loss but here input class has more than two values that is we have here 36 classes that's why i am using here categorical categorical cross entropy cross entropy so here i am using categorical cross entropy loss and we have to define a matrix also matrix is another parameter in which we have to pass a that we need accuracy accuracy okay so pass in a list form and in list add elements as a string accuracy okay so this is a, this is for compilation so in cnn dot compile first argument is optimizer what is the value of optimizer so here i am choosing rms prop optimizer and second parameter is loss so here i have more than 2 that is 36 classes of data set that's why i am choosing here categorical cross entropy matrix i am providing accuracy okay now we are ready for training part you can execute training here like this cnn dot fit you can use and in cnn dot fit you can pass x parameter and in x x parameter i am going to use this training set okay this training set i am going to use this one this training set variable which store all the contents from this directory and done all the pre processing so this is our training set variable so i am going to pass here training set variable here and validation data second parameter in cnn dot fit function has validation data in validation data i am going to pass a validation set this one this validation set i am going to pass here in validation data and third parameter is epochs how many epochs i need how many times i want to tune training process so i am going to pass here 30 epochs okay i am interested in recording the history i create a separate variable training history so cnn dot fit function will return the history of this training process so it will be recorded in this training history variable okay now let's run this so it's running it will take a lot of time i think almost uh, it will take almost hour so we have successfully completed our training process okay Here we completed th all the 30 epochs and we are getting training set accuracy of 85% almost and uh, validation set accuracy is 91% so in next video we are going to save this model also we are going to record this training history in a json file so that when we need this training history then we can directly read that json file and and check the training history of the model and we are going to explore more in training history what is this training history what it contain and uh, many other things we will explore in this okay so thank you guys thanks a lot for watching this video we will meet in next video